Hi everybody. Uh, in this lesson, I will talk about post requests using Fetch. Uh, when you send a request from your application or uh, in your iPhone, your Android application, and here uh, after you uh, add a new uh, record, you uh, enter your information and press save. Then a post request is sent from your uh, application to the server and uh, it, it has a parameter a position it has a property name food description so after that the data has been uh, updating to uh, the uh, that database the post read uh, the mongodb or uh, nosql database etc so after finishing insert your data to database uh, the server will send back the response to the application to the application so we have the uh, response as a JSON object we have result we have data and then it will be updated to your application in the user interface in uh, in your file list okay uh, so now I will uh, start with the previous lesson you can download this code in the previous video uh, and uh, the code uh, also in the github uh, so let's start with uh, defining a function and this function will uh, uh, insert new food to the server using the input parameter and uh, please always use the try catch for this function type because i don't know uh, it is a successful or not so it uh, has a try catch uh, so um, in the stripe block we have uh, uh, to uh, send requests using fetch so this is an await function uh, it means uh, it will wait until the function finish so uh, we also have the api uh, for inserting new foot so how to test this put post api uh, i use the postman extension of chrome so you open the chrome and install uh, postman so uh, uh, you can set here the property input parameter uh, and uh, you can learn how to make this port API in my video in uh, node.js yet 6 okay we have a, a parameter some parameter name food description and send uh, and press the body to see the uh, result so we have the result here we have a uh, uh, sample of the property in sizes and I can check the result is okay or fail uh, so I can recheck by uh, calling the query or get and uh, after pressing you see that it is here uh, it is the uh, inserted data is here so you can uh, assure that uh, it is updated to the database uh, successfully or uh, you can uh, check uh, using your MongoDB uh, query uh, so you can find in the collection so we uh, see the record that uh, has been updated or inserted to uh, the database using uh, this so we have a uh, uh, this is the inserted data is here okay uh, so let's start, uh, continue with the code as uh, we uh, can set uh, here so the response is a, a weird function you use the fetch uh, so the first function we have uh, the uh, api insert new uh, foot and we have option here uh, option is an object that uh, uh, sets some of the property for uh, the method for example first uh, method is post and uh, the header uh, accept uh, uh, application JSON and the content type is uh, is uh, application JSON and uh, so we have the body uh, the body sent to the server must be string so you have to convert the parameter uh, the object parameter to string to uh, uh, send to the network so you have to convert the parameter to string by using zishan dot uh, stringify, uh, stringify will convert uh, an object and a JavaScript object to a string. 
uh, and after my having the response we can uh, uh, dot uh, JSON to uh, convert uh, this f uh, this object to JSON format so using a wait mean wait for finish uh, so after that we have the response JSON like here we, we have a result we have a data and uh, we can check uh, the result uh, it is a string of uh, ok or false uh, so if it is ok I can uh, uh, refresh the data uh, so let uh, make this public by using a spot a spot insert new food to server uh, to make this function public so you can uh, import this from another file so in the add model uh, component we can uh, we will import uh, this function to here by import uh, the insert new food server uh, from here I insert it to here so you can uh, calling this to uh, after for pressing save okay uh, so uh, uh, inside this we, we is a previous code I can remove this previous code because this code uh, uh, will uh, get the data from a fixed uh, source and uh, you can comment out this because not necessary and replace this code with your code uh, your new code so after getting a food description and new uh, food name you can uh, use a new food as a, a parameter uh, by calling insert new food to server as the input is parameter uh, so the new food here is parameter uh, after calling this I use a promise mean uh, icon then then mean it will uh, call when uh, the result uh, has uh, been uh, get so uh, we have the result here and uh, inside this uh, uh, this error function I can check the result is okay uh, if it is okay I, the data will be refreshed and uh, I call the refresh function in uh, the flat list so this prop dot pan flat list and how to reload data uh, you will uh, click to the basic flat list and this is a function we will call uh, after refreshing it will uh, uh, get the data from API from uh, for previous lesson you copy this function add model and paste this function name to here okay uh, so uh, let's run okay the previous add new food name you uh, enter a food uh, name food xyz and uh, the food description here uh, and save okay it is updated uh, inserted to here so it is it inserts that uh, successfully you can check uh, more about this by uh, uh, by open the database and requery as uh, this so here we can see more okay it is food s a y z name okay here it is updated to the database so uh, uh this is end of my lesson today thanks for watching uh please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos or download code in github uh, dot com here